Michal. What does that mean? It means Michael in Polish. Michal? I love pho. Oh, I don't know. Like, no hoops. If Can I start off the video quickly? Yeah, but we, just, we, got, we got the guy behind us. I figured I might just wait a second. From the colors of this graph, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks nice and comfy. Yeah, the, the beef is interesting. Kind of has a bit of a, no, it has a little bit of a purplish tone to it, as opposed to red. Um, well, yours hey, does. Anyway, okay. Mine is. Hey, didn't see you there. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's. Let's get into it. I'll uh, go in the intro. Sure. Welcome back to another episode of Fa uh, One Six. Today we are back in the nine oh five. We're at uh, I Love Fa. This is uh, a location, a restaurant that has been recommended like way too many times, and uh, in particular, we we've, we've had uh, one guy that I can I can recall the name who has mentioned this place, like, I don't even know how many times, Hung Nguyen, so shout out to you. Shout out. Uh, I guess this is your favorite spot. So uh, here we are. And honestly, I've heard good things about this place, so um, I guess we'll see, you know? Uh, uh, I just wanna say I love pho. <laughs> don't we all, don't we all. All right. Get right into it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Back to back pho, two days in a row. Yesterday we were at Q Ling. So you'll see that video before you see this one. Oh, that's a nice draw. Okay. Really nice draw. Okay. Thankfully, thank God, finally, we're back. For the love of God. Did you just say, for the love of God? Yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Wow. So, it's really good. For me, this has that that balance of uh, salt content in relation to uh, your sort of like sweet and like herb infused uh, elements of the broth as well that I think we're always kind really of Really nice for. herb infused. Like, before I even put any of this stuff in, it was so jam-packed. Of... You, you remember in, in the last video of Q Ling, I, I took that first sip and at first I was fooled. I was like, ah, not bad, you know? <laughs> and as we had more of it, it's like, oh, it's a little bit too sweet. There's not enough salt content. Kind of reminded us of, um, it was kind of like kind of like a golden turtle like they just i think they just needed to it needs like a just kind of a richer saltier broth right of course it's all subjective it's all a matter of opinion right but hmm. the broth is really nice like you said in uh one of the last videos, Mississauga. Mississauga is holding it down, right? For me, some some of the um, some of the best spots like Far Brothers and oh, Far Queen City. That was, yeah, that was the one where you said Mississauga is holding it down. Mm -hmm. 
Can you pass the uh, chili? Yeah. You were saying the rolls are good too, so let's have a little taste. Pass the napkins. Sure. Um, I guess a little bit of a backstory on I Love Pho is that I have been to an I Love Pho location, but it's the one down on uh, Dixie and Dundas. So I believe they're obviously part of the same chain, but I'm actually not completely sure because uh, I don't remember that location being this good so maybe they're maybe they're a separate uh, company altogether although it would be pretty weird to have the exact same name and, and uh, be operating in the same city like that so I don't know maybe same chain different owners different style of, uh, of making fun you know? They packed this cool, eh? A lot of meat, a lot of looks over there. A lot of noodles too, like... How do you find the meat? Pretty good? Pretty good. You're just further along in the bowl, right? So... I found even... The pieces with the fat are actually pretty tender and like easy to eat. I wonder how many videos there are that we've done that have a screaming child in the background. You could do like a little mm -hmm. highlight, like a blooper video. You can probably make it into a drinking game where like every time a child screams in the background, you take a shot. Man, I could drink this broth, it's pretty good. Shout out to the basil farmers. We love you guys. We love you guys. Keep up the great work. Marcello's just sending out some text messages, guys. Uh, during the video, busy guy, busy Sorry. guy, you know, <laughs> handling some business, you know. <laughs> busy, you know, all these uh, commenters telling us to go to these different far restaurants. He can't yeah. keep up. <laughs> He's like, don't worry, guys, we're here, we're here.
we had we had one person. Oh. Someone's making some uh, a smoothie or something. Yeah. We had someone who commented and they said that she said that she preferred when phone six was just me. Hey, listen, I mean, you know, we all have our own opinions and stuff, right? Um, but the funny thing is, I've noticed like every phone six video we do now, we get this at least one thumbs down. <laughs> That's her. So shout out, shout out to you. Thank you for right. still thank you for still watching though, you know? My only complaint about this bowl <laughs> is some pieces of meat are tough to chew and they're a little bit fatty. Some yeah. pieces are really good though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I got um, a little further into it, I realized it. Because the like the first sip of broth was just like stellar, right? The broth itself is really good. Yeah, I'd I'd say the broth is definitely a winner. Um, like it's, just gonna, right it's just gonna be interesting though to see, right? Like, yeah. And I mean, I, like, I, I, I think that some people actually like that. I don't know. Well, here's the thing: you can't knock them. In the yeah. actual menu, it said be fat. Like, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we always go with fat tainam, but there's everyone has their own way of preparing fat tainam, right? Some make it with a slightly fattier uh, brisket, and that. So it's all a preference thing. But I do really enjoy that broth. Mm. Like, see, like here, there's a really good piece of beef. There's some really nice one. Yeah. You and I, we like the same kind of fuck, though. Um, <laughs> I think we tend to like it with a little bit less fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. I hate when this shit happens. I swear to God. I want the best for the place. It's not like I do that shit on purpose. No, it's okay. Because this is like a really... It's definitely a really good bowl, right? It's just that you'll get some pieces like that. I'm getting pretty close to my score. I think I know why we're having it. That's how this this one piece of beef. This will decide my score. Okay. Here's the thing about this bowl. Yes, there were some fatty pieces of beef, but they put so much beef that there was actually a lot of pieces that were good. Mm -hmm. Talk it out, man. Talk it out. I love that Marcello breakdown of so kind of even out, you know. Um, I think I have my score actually. 
Okay, uh, I'm pretty dead on on it. Like, okay, you can, you can go ahead, man. You can go ahead. I'm, I'm still kind of deciding a little bit. All right, so I really like the broth. Noodles were nice. A lot of veggies. Like I said, although there were some fatty pieces of beef, there were enough tender, thin pieces to make me, you know, come to terms with my score. Without further ado, all that being said, I want to give this an 8.1 out of 10 cup. Another really good pho. I really love the Mississauga joints. Yeah, that's a, that's that's solid. That's solid. That's um, and I mean, I can definitely see why you went there. However, I'm um, my number is actually an 8.3. So beautiful thing is that puts us as at an overall score of 8.2 so for us this is an 8.2 oh yeah really? um, and yo that to me that's an that's an accurate score because I'll, so I'll tell you why basically um for me it's an 8.2 because like the broth first of all is fantastic amazing broth. like wow Delicious! It is a delicious bowl. It's just as salty. It's, it's perfectly salty for me, for my taste buds. I but it also has a bit of that depth of flavor, like on the back end of like that more kind of like herby, uh, licorice kind of star anise type taste that we're always looking for. Served hot. But now the bowl is getting a little cool because we've taken obviously some time. Noodles. Um, great. Nice and kind of like al dente, not like overcooked in the bowl. And the beef overall, there were a lot of good pieces in it. But then. That's the only thing that your fat your pieces that I know you don't like and that's the only thing that held it back for me. From like an eight six or something. We just like I like a really just um in terms of the rare beef, I just like it like you know perfectly thin, which this is. And then for the brisket, I like the brisket. It's okay if it has a little bit of fat, right? But not like too too much. And not like the really big like stringy pieces and, and that exactly. kind of thing. And so 8.3 and I mean and 8.2 overall that that to me is like kind of like perfect too because we have now you look at a place like say uh fucking bow i think we got like maybe like an 8.4 8.5 in that territory um Fa brothers was up up around like more like the 8.6 8.7 map so far and then this kind of it's a really great bowl, but it kind of hovers in that in the low eights for sure. It's one of the best in Mississauga for sure. Oh yeah, I think it's top three. Uh, so far for Mississauga, this is third basically. Bob Brothers, Bob Queen City, this place. I think we've probably both. Oh, and then uh, number four is uh... <laughs> D. So far, so far. <laughs> yeah, that's because we've only reviewed four. <laughs> All right. But yeah, really enjoyable uh, bowl, and I would make sure to come down to one hundred and ten percent. I would come back to this place. I would this come place, back for sure. This place is great. Love the uh, the overall atmosphere too. Super like big, spacious, clean type spot. Um, and even with that being said, I think it has been around for a while though. Um, so listen. That's it for today's video. Join us next time on Fall 16. And thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Take care, guys.